Now that we are done with the practice exercises on Asia A, B, and on the zone of partial preservation, let's take a look at Asia C and D, or AIS C and D to be precise. Um, so as we mentioned previously, these two levels correspond to motor incomplete injuries. And uh, by this we mean that we have motor function at S45. The difference between Asia C and D is that in Asia C, most of the muscles below the uh, neurological level of injury have a grade less than three. So the MMT would be either zero, one, or two. Whereas with Asia D, most of the muscles have grades three, four, or five, meaning that we have better innervation of the muscles. So um, that, that's in general. I, I mean, that's the first point. Now, there is one more point to mention about AJC, which we just encountered in our uh, last exercise, which is that um, if um, an injury classified as Asia B, meaning that there is a sensory uh, function at S45 and no motor function at S45, but this injury also had a motor function three levels, more than three levels below the motor level, then this would be Asia C, which is the last example we did now. Okay, so let's take a practice exercise um, on these last two ones. Okay, so here, uh, starting with the sensory on the right, it's going to be T1. Sensory, I will write next to the cells, okay, T1. Now, sensory on the left, it's going to be C8, okay? So T1 and C8, you write in the boxes, guys. Now, for the motor level, if we check here, it is C8, C8 on the right, and on the left, the motor level is C7. Okay, so here, C7. Now, what is the neurological level of injury? The neurological level of injury is the most cephalic of those uh, here, so it is C7. C7. Let's check our answers first. Okay, so T1, C8, C8, C7, C7. Yes, these are our answers. Okay. So, C7 is the neurological level. Is the injury complete or incomplete? We look here. Okay, we have voluntary anal contraction and we have deep anal pressure. So, it's definitely incomplete. I. Okay. Now, since we have voluntary anal contraction, this is the weirdest eye you can see, okay? Um, since we have voluntary anal contraction, so this would classify as Asia C or D. How do we decide? We check the uh, innervation below the neurological level. So the neurological level is C7. Okay, let's draw a line here. This is C7. Okay, now below C7, how many muscles do we have on the right? We count one, two, and here we have five. So it's seven on the right and seven on the left. So a total of how many? A total of 14 muscles on the right and on the left side. Okay. Now, among those 14 muscles, how many muscles have a grade 0, 1, or 2 on the MMT? So we count them. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 muscles. Okay. So 9 out of the 14 have grades 0, 1, or 2. This means that out of the 14, we have only 5 muscles with grade 3, 4, or 5. So the majority of the muscles below the neurological level have grades 0, 1, or 2. This means that this is, this is Asia C. Okay. Do we need to specify the zone of partial preservation here? It's actually NA for all four of those. Why? Because we have 
voluntary anal contraction, so we can specify the motor zone of partial preservation, and we have deep anal pressure, so we can specify the sensory. Let's check our answer for this last part. So it is incomplete agency, and the zone of partial preservation is in A. Okay, let's take one last example. Okay, here. Uh, again, let's do it. Uh, the sensory level on the right is T1. T1. And on the left, it's C8. C8. The motor is C8 on the right. And on the left, it is C7. C7. Okay, so T1, C8, C8, C7. This seems familiar to the previous one. Okay, anyway. So T1, C8, C8, C7. Okay. Now, what is the uh, neurological level of injury? It's the most kefal of those. So it is C7. C7. Okay. Is it complete or incomplete? We have a yes here and a yes here. So this is incomplete. Okay. Now we need to specify. And because we have more voluntary uh, anal contraction, it's either A, C, or D. So let's uh, decide um, which, which one of those. Uh, the neurological level is C7, just like the previous one, actually. Okay. So C7 is here. Okay. Below it, like before, we have 14 muscles. How many of the 14 have MMT score 0, 1, or 2? Okay, we look here. There is 1, and 2, and 3. So 3 out of the 14. This means that we have 11 muscles out of those 14 below the neurological level of injury that have muscle innervation grade 3 or uh, MMT grade 3, 4, or 5. Since the majority of the muscles are here, this means this is Asia D. And finally, the zone of partial preservation is just like our previous example. It is N A. Okay, so let's check. It's uh, incomplete injury, Asia D, and the zone of partial preservation is N A. So with this, I hope you have a clear idea about how to score the Asia impairment scale uh, or the Asia scale, uh, Asia sheet, with all its components, starting with the neurological levels, ending with the, um, or uh, along with the impairment scale, ending with the zone of partial preservation. Finally, a final word on uh, the value of this scale, uh, like for example, this one uh, in front of us here. If I tell you that a patient has neurological level of injury C7 and that this person has Asia Impairment Scale score of a AISD, you would imagine, okay, so this person has a high level of injury, it's C7, but most muscles below the neurological level have good innervation, grades 3, 4, or 5 based on Asia D. This means that this person has good prognosis. Most likely, this person will be able to perform many activities of daily living independently, and that this person would uh, be a good candidate for ambulation. If I give you the same details and said that this is a neurological level of injury C7, but the age impairment scale was A, then the picture would be completely different. This person would be highly dependent and um, uh, will need assistance in so many uh, activities of daily living and uh, will also be dependent on a power wheelchair for ambulation. So we can see here that with those simple um, descriptions of the neurological level and the AIS, uh, we were able to build a somewhat rough idea about the expectations uh, from our patient. And this is the value of the Asia uh, scale.